Hello YouTube, welcome back to the stream. We're gonna be uh, playing, or welcome back to the videos. Uh, this is Federation vs. Xeon, Mobile Suit Gundam on, for the PS2, and we will be continuing where we left off, in the middle of a battle. Because sometimes you just forget to fight in the middle of a fight. Missing my fucking shield. All right. Welcome, Clopez. Thank you for being here. I, I see the pee pants. I see them. I acknowledge them. How you doing, Lopez? I do. I do. trying not to get shot down uh, in my my gym with my puny little my puny little blaster gun uh, and my, the beam spray gun is sometimes an ineffectual piece of technology while uh, incredibly powerful in some instances in others it does not shit for damage uh, so we're we're just kind of trying to get through the one-year war without dying a whole bunch Uh, using new solar system weapon against uh, using our new solar system weapon against Solomon, we have succeeded in dealing a crushing blow to the enemy. Oh, okay. There it is. Big Zam. Is the Gundam ready to go? Not completely. Do we take it out anyway? Yes. And we bring the fucking hyper bazooka with us. Oh no, Dozel, no! I don't want to have to shoot you! Dozel's the best boy! Shit. Forgot I was only at half elf. You were planning on mass producing that thing. It's a mobile battle carrier. You're not gonna mass produce something that hard. <laughs> hey, Slagger, I didn't shoot you. You're a Lopez, I didn't know. Oh, are you? I didn't know you were subscribed. I think so. If you can see, if you could see what was going on just now, unless you're using, you know, ad blockers, uh, that was on an ad break. <laughs> Oh, 
Amuro, we have to kill Dozel, unfortunately. We have to kill the best boy. That's weird, because there was an ad break going, but dope that you didn't get it. <laughs> Hey, I got a, I got the, I got a new type ranking. It was the lowest ranking we can get, but hey, I got a new type ranking. Um, okay, fortress mop up battle, dope. All right, so the Gundam is not usable as of right now. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we had to kill Best Boy Dozel, but uh, you know these things happen. So for the mop up battle, we are going to bring the level four Jim and the level four Zaku or the level four. Um, uh, ball unit and just kind of mop up the Feder the Zeon forces. Though to avoid ad, uh, ad breaks in the future, Clopez, if you have a Twitch Prime sub, you could absolutely throw it my way. Uh, Yeah, so once Solomon was taken, essentially, Zeon did not have the funds to continue to create Zaku 2 units. So we were, they were left with what Rick Doms they had left and Zaku 1s, which is unfortunate for them because the gym is far superior to the Zaku 1. Um, the Zaku 1 was while in its time a really good mobile suit, was even outdated by the beginning of the One Year War. The Battle of Solomon is near the end. Um, the Zeon had already mass-produced the Zaku 2 unit and was well on its way to producing the Gelgoog by this point. Um, and as Dozel said, they were even going to mass-produce the Big Zom because they were in wor the works to mass-produce just fucking massive mobile armors, which you'll see more of in, Z you know, Mobile Suit Gundam versus Zeta Gundam, but it's it's uh, interesting to kind of see uh, the fact that they had they were pushed back so hard by the Federation at, by this point because of the new solar beam, the solar uh, powered, essentially nuke beam that they were using, uh, that they had to pull out new new mobile suits. The other thing about this is like the with Mobile Suit Gundam specifically neither side are really the good guys. Um, there are individual good people on uh, either side like Ramba Rawl was a good dude and you know Amuro Ray obviously you know he was a whiny little ineffectual, ineffectual, ineffectual bitch for like most of the one year war but he did keep a lot of people alive including what would become his surrogate children. So like he's he was a he was a you know a decent person and then you have people like Slegger Law who while morally ambiguous knows that war sucks because he's been a soldier his entire life and having that you know that uh what's the essentially having that um that that bias toward I was a soldier, I've been a soldier for, you know, decades, uh, there, nothing is good in this world, etc., etc. Very, um, he was very, uh, like, cynical by the time he was, um, by the time he was, you know, sent back out into battle, essentially. Um, the, uh, the ace pilot known as Slegger Law Essentially, when he, by the time he, I think he retires, I'm not, I don't think he dies in, 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 uh, in the anime, but, uh, by the time he retires, he ends up, uh, realizing that, you know, no, no war is good, and that the only, uh, the, the, uh, the best timeline is a timeline in which soldiers are no longer needed. But that's, they are far from getting there at the, the time being, because the Federation is utterly corrupt from the inside.
But then again, Zeons know better because they were literal space Nazis. <laughs> um, dropped a massive fucking colony on the Earth. Uh, basically, the equivalent of about 30 nuclear bombs dropping on Australia. It was a it was a bad time. Operation British was a bad time. You know, this, this gun does a lot when it hits, but when it doesn't hit, it doesn't do shit. And the majority of the time, it doesn't hit. Unfortunately, the uh, the gym uh, space type only has one weapon in this game. Oh no, my uh, my ally, my my ball unit. Well, fuck, <laughs> I got ganged up on by three. by three separate guys and normally I don't mind that so much but like uh, uh that, that wasn't that's not exactly uh that wasn't exactly a fun experience you know what? we'll bring a Rick Dom, the Rick Dom in it's the closest thing I'll get to a Dom in my life uh <laughs> This, uh, this stream is ob is not family friendly. No, you had not noticed that. That's some bullshit. I'm gonna let the Rick Dom fight the other Rick Dom and call it a day. I'm not even... Just fucking shoot him. There we fucking go. Oh, I am without my shield. Okay, great. Blown it up. There we go. There's a reason I brought out the Rick Dom to help. I should have played as the um, the gun the gun cannon because the gun cannon's really good in space combat. Not so good on the ground, but like real good in space combat. Me too. I like the the that the 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 uh, beam spray gun makes. It's really really good. The, the black tri-stars are back. Alright, cool. You guys are only back because I didn't blow you up before before in the other mission. Son of a bitch. I died again. Alright, this is getting a little embarrassing. <laughs> I 
Accuracy, 25%. Cool. Alright. <sighs> okay. We're gonna go just we're gonna go in and just be really mean to these guys. We're gonna bring in two high-level V project models and utterly fucking wreck these motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, see, two shots. The Rick Dom doesn't stand a fucking chance against the gun cannon. Um... It's just that I was using, um, essentially grunt suits to deal with, to deal with the problem. I was essentially bringing in a, uh, a stormtrooper to deal with a tank. The music in this game is genuine. Like, it loops a lot, but it's it slaps. Uh, not gonna lie, it slaps. Um, I am sad that we will not hear the Jabral theme ever again because we've defeated all of the ground missions, but, you know... It is what it is. Yeah, see? There we go. Mission complete. This is why we're you should, when you have them, use the V-Project mobile suits. Because they're really fucking strong. The problem is, is when you use them... Oh, we have more Earth. Uh, Spol Solomon's Space Fortress has fallen. Solomon is ours and serves as our Space Fleet's base. Message from General Rebel. Everything's going well. I'm dispatching the Supply Corps to you. The new type core, Propaganda, designed to mask how exhausted they've become. New types are supposedly people who can live without war. They are not psychics. Uh, we captured a Rick Dom Xeon mobile suit. In addition to our, our unit, it can be... Uh, as an addition to our unit, it can be used in sp uh, for space combat. All right, cool. So, the Tejas colony. Allied Gundam destroyed, own mobile suit destroyed. So we're going to do some some Tejas, some Texas stuff. Texas colony stuff. Uh, we're going to see what we got on the Earth, though. Let's see what we got on in going on in the Earth. Uh, ooh, the Medea Supply Corps. This is always a good... Always do the Medea Supply Corps missions. If you ever play this game, always do the Medea Supply Corps missions. This is not just an excuse for me to use the ground Gundam. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the 100mm machine gun. This is absolutely not me just using an excuse to use the ground Gundam, because I could totally be using it in the Texas colony. Oh, fuck no. Shoot at the Medea Supply Corps. Fucking murder me.
Oh, there's two of them bitches. All right, cool. All right, let's... Yeah, them big boys. These big boys. Big ol' fuckers. Designed for underwater combat, too, so... One of the reasons why I didn't want to get underwater with them, but... There is a there are, there's a time where you have to kind of jump outside of your comfort zone. Thank you for the lurk, uh, Clopez. I really appreciate it. It's real. It's it's real nice. It was real nice uh, having you in chat. It's like the second time ever. A uh, gun cannon, you received a gun cannon mobile suit with enhanced capabilities. Dope. Seattle, deplete the enemy strength to zero. All right, gun cannon, 100 millimeter. Uh, or Gundam, 100 millimeter. And Jim, uh, 100 millimeter. There we go. We're essentially doing mop-up operations on, on the Earth just to get rid of the Xeon forces on, uh, on the planet. Throwing crackers at me. Them saltines. There we fucking go. Both both machine guns on uh, just firing like a motherfucker at me. And it was the gym that got him. Hell yeah. Love my gym. All right. Great Canyon. Enemy battle strength zero. We'll, uh, we'll go out in uh, level three with 100 millimeter. And we'll bring in the gym two with the beam rifle. Or, no, you know what? We'll go. We'll go with the Zaku. I think our Zaku's have have, uh, have redeemed themselves, and uh, and we'll use we'll use one of them to help us with this uh, this mop up operation on Earth.
There we fucking go. This one's gonna be over quick, I think, because like we're uh we're utterly fucking wrecking them. This is this is the power of the cultivated mobile suits that I've gotten for the ground combat. They are uh, beasts, to say the least. Got him. No more goof. No more goofing. No more goofing and gaffing. Not for you. No more goofing and gaffing. Not for you. <laughs> New York. New battle strength zero. I mean, honestly, we could probably launch with... Uh, We'll launch with the same mobile suit, 100 millimeter machine gun, and then I'll bring a we'll br we'll bring a space type gym, just a level two space type gym, just cause like why not? Space type gyms kind of fuck on planet on Earth, like they're they're really good. They had accuracy worth of shit. They, they'd be really good. We do inevitably see a Zaku 3 unit way later, but it's not quite as, like, it's it's not as good. Like, it's very spiky. They changed the design a lot, and uh, I like the OG Zaku's 1 and 2 a lot more than I like the Zaku 3. I think if I, the ne we were going to go over the next evolution of the Zaku, it would have been the High Zok. Jukon destroyed. All right, well, to do that, we'll throw this one with the rocket launcher, and we'll get... Um, we'll go with another ground Gundam, or we'll go ground Gundam here, rocket launcher, ground Gundam here, missile launcher. No, you know what? I'm gonna go for the hundred millimeter machine gun. I'll still, I'll still give this one. You know what? I'll give this one the hundred eighty millimeter cannon because it's fucking powerful. It is a beast of a fucking gun, um, and it wrecks shit. Then again, so does the 100 millimeter machine gun. My, my gun was carrying. <laughs> but as you can see, it just took half that Zox health uh, in one shot. Self, do not stand directly in front of the Dukon. Unload on it from above. I will go down with the ship. I will not sit and sleep. There will be no white flag on my door. It's a really good song.
Here we go. Wrecked it. We had a Gog and a Zok as our as the the things we were fighting. Uh, received a Gundam mobile suit. Yes, we have a new. We have another Gundam. Hell fucking yeah. We have another space type Gundam. Tejas Colony. All right. Enemy battle strength zero uh, for the Texas Colony. We'll go ahead and oh, level one Gundam. Oh, that's so cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use some ground. Uh, we're gonna use two ground Gundams. I'm gonna use the hundred millimeter machine gun. This one's gonna use the rocket launcher. And we're gonna kick ass, we're gonna take names, and we're gonna kill Zakus. And that's kinda just how it's gonna be. And then, we're gonna keep killing Zakus until it is time to not kill Zakus anymore. Till it's Gelgoogs. And, uh, <laughs> that we're fighting, and at which, at which time, well, hopefully we won't get utterly destroyed. Oh! Speak of the devil. There's a Gelgoo. Very fast, very powerful weaponry. We'll wreck our shit if we're not careful. You know, like that. And that. The Gelgoog was their response to the Gundam. It was mass-produced on the Texas Colony, uh, and it fucks. It is, in my opinion, the greatest uh, Xeon mobile suit ever created. From both Xeon and Neo Xeon, the Gelgoog will not be topped. And you can't count the GPO2 Cyphless because the Federation invented that and then Z uh, Xeon stole it. Doesn't count. Okay, two Gelgoogs, two Gelgoogs. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, as you can see, that beam rifle is utterly fucking me up. I have never gotten this low in a ground gun game, ever. Okay. Two Dom Troopers, these we can take. Son of a bitch! Alright. Alright. I see you. I see you, Texas Colony Troopers. We gonna throw hands, if I'm allowed to repeat that mission. I am. I am, in fact, allowed to repeat that mission. All right. So we are going to have to have a part three to this, uh, this particular series of streams but uh yeah no i'm 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 looking forward to it because uh it's gonna this is gonna be fucking great we're getting so close to the end we are so close to the end that i can taste it because the gelgoog was one of those mobile suits that didn't get invented until the end of the war um, and by the time it, it, it came about for Xeon, it was a little too late because Xeon had lost their, uh, technological superiority over the Federation, like, like three or four years before that.
Or, well, three or four months before that, because oh, the one-year war only took, you know, one year. Um... <laughs> One bad thing about the uh, about the 180 millimeter machine gun, it's slow. In order to hit people with it, you gotta catch them slipping, like that. Got shot again. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, there's only one solution to losing that hard. Bring out your fucking strongest Gundam, because I absolutely forgot that I had a, another Gundam. That I have two Gundams. So we're going to go with the rocket launcher, because it's faster. Uh, we're still going to bring out the gun tank, because damn, did it do a damn good job. And then we're going to bring out the Gundam, the RX-78-2 space, uh, RX space model instead of the RX-79 uh, RX that I'm using here. This, this bastard's gonna land right here. And I'm gonna fucking get him when he does. Howdy, friend. There we go. Got him. That's the one that usually does the most damage to me. Because I don't fight. I try to shoot him from long range. Which you never want to try to outrange a Gelgoog. Um, because they they have the, the long, basically copycat beam rifles of the uh, gun tank, which is what their. or gun cannon. Uh, which is what their, their beam rifle is based on. The gun cannons, uh, beam rifle. And they will fucking destroy you. You wanna you wanna get up close and you wanna fucking rock their shit like point blank, and that is how you beat the gun that is how you beat the Gelgu. Trooper number one. There it is. Quick firing Gelgu. Quick firing fucking Got it. I just gotta survive until there we fucking go. Whew! That was a very difficult mission. Um, and that was a normal rated mission. So, we're, uh, we're, we're gonna have some fun times at Ridgemont High on the next one. Uh, <laughs> uh, we captured a Xeon mobile suit, Gelgoog. Hell fucking yes. Okay. Satellites, you know what? No, I think we have to do this one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this very hard mission. We're gonna use the RX 78 2 with the beam rifle, and hopefully, we don't fucking die. <laughs> uh, we're gonna play until midnight. 
Um, and once that ha once midnight hits, we'll uh, we'll we'll head uh, off stream. I just want to thank everybody that's been here, and I want to thank uh, the uh, all the, those of you who have subscribed tonight. I really really appreciate it. And yeah, you know, people who subscribed yesterday, y'all fucking rock. Um, okay, so I got to defend the Gundam. Okay, that's absolutely doable. Makube! You little shit! What? Idiot. What? What? Yes, you're an ally, but fucking move so I can shoot him! There we go. Dead Makube. Fuck you. Oh no. Oh shit, Shars Galgook. Okay! Go fight Char, Amaro. I'm gonna destroy these two doms and hopefully we'll we'll win. Hopefully I can avoid Char long enough for me to destroy these two and it's one, it's two, and fuck you. Well, Amaro, listen, I know your Gundam is somehow way stronger than mine, even though they are the same machine. Um, but, uh, you fight Char, I got the, the Grunt Troopers, I guess. There we fucking go, got him, okay. That was somehow easier than the other one that was ranked not as hard. I think if Char hadn't been in this one, it would not have been ranked as hard. Also, I was using the Gundam, and it was an upgraded version, so that also might have contributed, but... It just felt way easier than the other one. Okay, what's going on on Earth? Is this a Medea Supply Corps? Please let this be... Nope, Allied Ground Combat uses, leaves the... Okay, cool. I can do that. I can I can definitely handle that. Um, we'll do uh, Ground Gundam with the 100mm machine gun, and then we'll do a... Uh, you have a four-star standard gym? That's dope. Uh, well, yeah, we'll test out our new Gelgoog unit. Let's let's test out the new Gelgoog unit, cause like that's dope as fuck. We have a new we have a Gelgoog, and that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, the Gelgoog uh, is definitely was definitely the choice to bring. Um. Holy fuck. The other thing about the Gelgoog is that even into, like, the Grips War, it was a viable mobile suit. Uh, because in the Zeta Gundam anime, the, uh, the, um, I cannot remember the name of the ship, but the main character's, like, ship, uh, it finds one just kind of in some rubble, and it's not been used since the One Year War, which is like seven years after, uh, uh, seven years before the Zeta Gundam anime, and it's still like a viable, usable mobile suit, which is pretty fucking cool.
There we go. Mission complete. I think we'll get a ground type Gundam from this too. Nope. Alrighty, we've got a new mission on in Solomon's Space. We've got a couple of satellite orbit. Uh, we got satellite orbit. What do we got in Solomon's Space? Brow bro destroyed. All right, yeah, we can we can handle that. I think we can handle that. Unavailable. We'll do this uh, level two gun cannon. I think that's the mobile suit we'll we'll use for this one. I think this sh will probably be, as a matter of fact, uh, the last one we, use, we we play for tonight because I am starting to get tired and it is, uh, it's, it's 25 after 11. So yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's time. I need sleepies. Is that you? Uh, why are you here? Good. Now. Now. I'm aware it's below me, but like, why are you here, Sam? Oh, hey, Amuro. You are here so that Amuro will show up. Go. Thank you for the raid in it. I really, really appreciate it. We're, uh, we're, we're shooting things in giant mech suits. Uh. How was stream? Can I get a shout out for Ghost in it in the chat? I'm not positive if any of my uh, if any of my mods are in chat, but if they are, uh, I, can I get a shout out for in it? Oh, you're playing BG3. Nice. Uh, how is how was how's your playthrough going? Uh, and who is your romance option? And why is it Carla? Because hey, if it's not, it should be. Hello, uh, welcome Raiders. Uh, sorry for the ad break. Uh, thank you for. For uh, for joining, um, in it, what uh, who uh, how's your uh, Baldur's Gate three playthrough going, and who's your romance option, and why is it Carlac? And if it's not Carlac, it absolutely should be Carlac. <laughs> Though no judgment if it is. Obviously. So we're gonna bring. Gun cannon, gun tank. We're blowing up some uh, some some uh, robots in in space. I think I was uh, we were uh, just about to raid, but I will uh, I will go ahead and play a couple more uh, just just for you. Well, I've blown up the Musai, which is uh, kind of the, the only big uh, battleship, so 
I don't think you're... Oh! Oh, there's another Musa! Cool. I thought this was a Zanzibar. <laughs> From the look of it, it looked like a Zanzibar. Nope, definitely a Musai. Hi, hyperparticle cannons. How we doing? I love my my gun tank, my gun cannon, or my gun tank backing me up because it means that I can just focus on being uh, kung fu kung fu gun tank. Another Musai. You're a problem. Kung Fu, Kung Fu Gun Tank. Hiya! I love, I love the, the Kung Fu Gun Tank. It's one of my favorites. Mission complete. Hey, new type rank D. That's pretty good. I've not gotten a new type rank new type rank D in a hot minute. Uh, okay, so that's side six space, satellite orbit, destroy the Zanzibar. Yeah, of course the gun tank's not the gun cannon's not gonna be ready to go. Uh, we'll bring gun uh, gun cannon and the dom unit. Just that, so we have another like heavy hitter unit. And we just have to blow up the fucking Zanzibar. It shows its face. Again, Kung Fu Gun Tank. I'm just gonna absolutely fucking wail on this thing. That's a that's a named fucking character. All right. Normally, I'm not one to ignore like named characters on the battlefield, but uh, I can ignore this one because if I do, I can just keep wailing on the Zanzibar and actually succeed. Oh, fuck, okay. Uh, I gotta find a little spot to hide because the uh, Brabro will uh, absolutely fucking destroy me if I don't. I'm gonna get my little hidey hole and just start fucking kicking the Zanzibar to death. I might be able to, ooh. Squeeze out a win. There we go. Kicked it like a soccer ball. <laughs> and down goes the Zanzibar. New type rank D, two times in a row. That's actually pretty fucking good. Okay, Solomon. 
Uh, collect da data on new enemy weapon, the Emleth. All right, here we fucking go. It's time to fight the Emleth. Okay. Um. Oh, I have a Gundam. All right. Never mind. We're we're good to go. We just have to use this Gundam, shoot the fucking Emleth with the with the hyper bazooka, and then we're gonna in stream because this is gonna be a difficult fight. The Emleth is the Captain. strongest motherfucking uh, mobile suit in the game. And it's like a named character. Yep. See, that's that's why it's the strongest named mobile named unit in the game. Because Lala Soon is one of the strongest new types who have ever lived. And the Emleth is a difficult weapon to destroy. Essentially, all I have to do is survive against the Emleth, which I can do. I do not have to destroy the Emleth, I just have to survive against the Emleth, which is why I used the Gundam, because that is what the, gu the Gundam will allow me to do. No other mobile suit has torn the Gundam to shreds like this. Please don't hit. Please, please be incredibly inaccurate. Well, that, that, that wasn't. Yep, okay. I literally just should have used the gym. I won't let you. The gym's gonna get torn to shreds, though. This, this particular one. That's it. Oh shit. Oh fuck. And well, I mean, at least we get Char's theme, which absolutely fucks. But uh. Yeah, at least we get Char's theme, which fucks, but also it's Char in a Gelgoog with the Emleth. I'm running. Fuck it. I'm out. Shit! I got blown up. Three, two, one. Okay. We won. Cool. Jesus. Alright. Two enemy, two ally losses and a thing. I shouldn't have used the Gundam for that one. A message from General Rebel. Relay the mission of Operation Star One. Oh, Operation Star One. We will take out the Zeon Space Fortress at Bawaku and invade the Zeon homeland. Our target is a Bawaku. Is it now? If we win this battle, this war is over. Yeah. Operation Star One has commenced. We launch from Solomon, and we'll uh, final defense line. All right, cool. Cool. Is there just an easy mission to do with the uh, yeah. Big Zam destroyed! But I get to use the, the ground Gundams. Alright, cool. We'll do we'll do uh one more. We'll do one more. Um with using the um using the uh the ground gundams uh as our weapons of mass destruction for the for the time being. Uh and because wrecking Big Zam with two ground gundams is gonna be fun as fuck. In my opinion. Yeah, he's now stuck in the water.
yeah, this is this is uh, everything I've ever wanted to do uh, with with 180 millimeter cannon and a ground Gundam against Big Zom. Like I'm stressing over this fight uh, in space was like the worst. But now that I'm on Earth and I can just fucking pummel it with 180 millimeter rat cannon rounds, Big Zom wouldn't shit for that one. Gotta go out on a high note, folks. If you're ever if you're ever playing a game and you've like been losing a whole lot, remember to go out on a fucking high note every time. Okay. Alrighty, so that will be our stream for tonight, folks. We're going to find somebody to raid. Not sure who yet, though. Um, but we we will find someone to raid. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Enit, for the raid. Uh, thank you for those who have subscribed this evening. Uh, if you want to if you want to see more of my content, um, make sure you give us a follow and uh, go over and follow my YouTube channel. Uh, and, uh, if you want to follow me elsewhere, uh, I have a Twitter and I have a throne if you want to support directly. So thank you everybody for joining. Um, we're going to find someone to raid. Let me see who's on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna raid Lady Restless, uh, friend of the channel and friend of mine. Lady Restless is a wonderful content creator. She's using she's playing Beat Saber. Uh, go ahead over there and let her know that this is a Paladin raid. Um, the raid message will be in the chat for those who are subscribed. Uh, remember, just copy and paste that over to Lady Restless. We're going to go ahead and raid her. Bye, everybody. And for everybody over on YouTube, you folks have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining us. Uh, you have a wonderful night. Um, like, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye, everybody.